looking fresh. Army green paint, mud caked on the headrest. I'm the rooster underneath the career boosters. I be blowing up a rest of professional skin floaters. Got a degree in winning, so I'm unable to be a loser. Hip hop is my drug, bitch. I'm an air day user. Rick Flair with them nose hairs and enough coke to kill a hibernating grizzly bear. Sleeping on me. So it's only fair I jump up in your nightmare like Freddy Krueger. Ain't working 10 years. I'm in the head now. All they see is a guy in a snow, but that's me driving. Who the fuck's called now? I made the South have a North Pole, pal. I can get so dark the sun will be scared to pop, pop, pop. Discredited for the past three years. I know a lot of motherfuckers that owe me beers. And you're gonna give it to me. I ain't even saying cheers. I ain't even saying thanks. I ain't even taking one drink. I'll dump it on the ground and tell the bartender you bought it. And says it kick you when you're not singing the South against then invite you to a hick hop party around six. At the corner of Second Avenue, where I suck a dick. If you still sleeping on me, won't you grab a tip? Just make sure it ain't a chick trying to boost her income, kid. Don't fucking fire me unless you wanna get cremated for making me masturbate while you hang with your ex, baby. Let's be honest. I'm still a top doggy dog, and then I'm hungry and I'm hardly tired of harsh bark. And you ain't got a song that's independently chart top of you. Good. What's going on, guys? <coughs> Man, my throat's a little bit sore this morning. Uh, fucking Bluetooth fucking screamathon last night. Oh, anyway, I go on YouTube and I'm gonna, you know, do that fucking fan versus fan, see if I can't fucking get under, you know, loose skin in particular, and I did. But what's he do? You know, uh, it, I mean, last night really taught me three things. Oh, it taught me a few things, actually. So, number one in particular, three things in particular. Number one, that Bob, the fucking builder, Bob the Barner, whatever the fuck he is, is a fucking coward. Bob, I hope you see this. You're a fucking coward. I called you out. I told you, don't fucking miss it. What do you do? You fucking bitch out. Then, he brings on some kid that I've never heard of. So, you know, that kind of puts me at a disadvantage, kind of the way that he did Pete. TikTok, Chance Hall. Uh, anyway, I get on there and I'm, I'm, you know, fucking this little kid up. I mean, why, why he done that, I don't know, because it should have been me and Lou. But Lou ducked out and he put this Chance Hall because I told him, I said, I want Bob the Barner or you. So you put this kid in there. And it didn't go the way you had planned because you thought he was gonna fucking, you know, make me look stupid. But in the comments, I know because I had people in there because I knew what you was gonna do, Lou. They were screenshotting this shit for me. He got ate up. He got fucking murdered. And then you jump in. And I got little bitch boy Lou over here screaming in this ear. And then you on top of that. And you pulled probably the biggest bitch move I've ever heard of. Uncle Lou, you are such a fucking bitch that if I was to see you right now, I wouldn't even hit you with the closed fist. Because I don't think men should hit bitches. You fucking muted me. Several times. You turned my fucking volume down. You didn't want to hear people. You didn't want anybody to hear what you were hearing and you getting your fucking ass roasted. You got so fucking mad. That's the proof right there. You lost your fucking cool because you couldn't beat me. The great Uncle Lou, 30,000 subscribers, is nothing but a coward ass motherfucking piece of shit bitch. We'll do it again, Lou, if you're not fucking chicken shit, but we'll do it on my fucking life. We will do it on my terms, and I won't turn the shit down because I want everybody to hear that you're not that fucking good at roasting people. You're not. You're like that little fat kid that ain't getting his goddamn way at the park or getting his ass beat playing basketball, and you take your fucking ball and go home. And then, then I've got some people coming in my comments because they know what happened. They're like, oh man, you really got under loose skin. You burnt Lou up. I've had a couple of them say, look, nobody can go 
toe to toe with Lou. No, they can't when he's cutting her fucking voice off. They can't. I agree with you there. And then I've got one coming there and said, oh, Uncle Lou beat your ass. No, Uncle Lou didn't beat my ass. Uncle Lou turned my shit down so that you guys couldn't hear all the shit I was saying to him. He turned me down to make it sound like I wasn't in on the, the fucking battle. And then, even after all that, what do you do? You fucking hang up on me. You cut it off, and then you keep running your fucking mouth. Way to go, Lou. I ain't going nowhere, motherfucker. And I will get you again. And it'll be on different terms. <laughs>